<laughs> my spirit animals. That one looks like my cat. Oh my god, this looks like me when I eat too much cereal. Loaded in chubs. Hi Vogue. My name is Megan Roach. Today you're coming along with me to the Brandon Maxwell show. But first we gotta eat and run a few errands. Let's go. I'm from Pennsylvania, born and raised. This is my family and I. It's little me. I was called the devil growing up because I always had a stank face. During my finals week in high school, I got an email saying, you have to come to New York. We have like a really prestigious brand and photographer that wants to work with you. They didn't tell me exactly yet who it was, but once I got to New York, they said, okay, you're meeting Steven Mizell possibly gonna shoot the new campaign for Givenchy with Claire Waite Keller, it's her first debut, with Guido, Pat, everyone. It's like the dream team. And in my head, I like, I, I didn't really realize how important that was. So right now it's New York Fashion Week. It's probably the most stressful week of the whole fashion month. Everyone thinks that you have a schedule, but you don't. You kind of find out a rough schedule the night before, then when you wake up, it's like, you have to go here and then you have to go there. It's just a mixture of running from casting, fitting, show, hopefully food and this and that. It's kind of crazy. My first season, I was fortunate to be so hot. The new face. The new face is a fresh model, usually super young. There's always really one new face every season who does every show. And I became that girl that season. It's kind of like you can be a one hit wonder and you could have a great season and then nothing comes out of it. Or you could have a great season and then your career kind of blasts off after that. It's just kind of up to luck. People in this industry want whatever the look is during that moment, so it's, that is out of my hands. Like it's either they want me during this time or not. And, and being a good person, of course. Nobody wants to work with a crap person. <laughs> okay, enough tea. Let's get going. What do you think? People ask me my makeup routine and really the only thing I do is brush my brows. I'll spend like 10 minutes just moving hairs. They really have a mind of their own. M for Megan or W for winner. So final look. Why wear heels when it's fashion month and you don't have to. Shades, protect those eyes. Right now, we're at my favorite cafe, Paws Cafe. I'm so yeah. hungry. How is your chocolate peanut butter bowl? Really good? Okay. That reaction is good. I'm so excited. The thing that is key when eating acai bowl is don't ever mix it. I think the people that mix their acai bowls are serious, like legit cereal killers. When I was younger, growing up, I was always told to model. It's all in my teeth. I got scouted when I was about 15 by who's my hairstylist now. And he kind of like pulled me aside and said, you have to model, you have to model. And he called who became my mother agent at the time. At this point, I had to quit soccer. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna meet this lady, let's see what happens. And she told me that I was very muscular and I had to lose all of the muscle. In my head at this point, I still didn't think about modeling. I just thought of it as a task. If people don't think I could do something, I want to do it and do it better than they'd ever expect. I feel like any girl considering modeling has to be ready to, to leave home and to kind of take on a responsibility of taking care of yourself mentally, physically, financially too. It's, it's really tough. For me, I, I moved to New York when I was 16 and a half, and I was fortunate enough to have like a really great support system back home, and friends who believed in me, and we never felt alone. A lot of people think that I'm either Russian or Eastern European. I'm here to clarify that I am American. One of the main goals is a beauty contract, of course. For most models, the biggest hit really in your career is a beauty contract. Usually when a girl gets a beauty contract, that's when they become the face of that brand. And there's just, there's only so many brands to become the face for and they're, they'll be the face for a few years. So it's very minimal how many people get a 
beauty contract. I want to say a year ago I started journaling because that's when I started to get a little in my head with stress and, and dealing with things and, and I just couldn't let it out. It's there for whenever I need it. That's why I always bring it. So I have two. I have my blue one is for just my daily routine schedule, things I want to get done. Land at 12 p.m., arrive home, order food, clean up, unpack. Workout, question mark. <laughs> shower, question, no, I'm just kidding. I definitely showered. And then I have my personal journal. This baby is like sacred to me. And I end up like drawing in it. We're here. We're at the Museum of Natural History. So this will be a really cool venue. I'm excited to see it. Kitty. Look at the eyes, I can't. How are you? Good. Checking in for Megan Roche. She'll be under IMG. Thank you so much. <laughs> Ooh, I just saw your beautiful video this morning. You look like a princess. Thank you. I'm honored. I'm going to go try to find Shake Shack. I was thinking the same. It already looks like, oh, it's gone. When you're looking to pick out the right burger, you gotta look at the fluff factor of the bun. Because if it's squished, it's not as airy, it's not the same. This fluff factor is really good, but the meat, it's not charred enough. This one. Oh, stunning. Tom. I always bring my own lash curler because my lashes are really difficult and only certain ones work. They're as annoying as my eyebrows. Let's curl these difficult boys. You want them more? Talking smack, Tom? Are we about to throw down? You want to take us outside, Tom? Oh, I see. And also in the, in the inside. These bad boys. They're so stubborn. Some hairs just stay down. All right, I still see one that's down. She's coming back. I believe you're gonna curl yourself. I believe you better effing curl those, get those lashes up right now. I feel it's gonna be good. Here is the final makeup look. What do you think? I think it's gorgeous. Okay, so I found dressing and you're allowed to come on in. So for every fashion show, there's always a big board of every single look. So it's like an organized way to see the lineup. Here, Mayowa, my girl, is opening the show. Opening and closing, of course, are the two most important positions in a show. Opening it, like, it sets the mood. You, The first look is, first, it's exciting because you get an adrenaline rush and you're like, what is the collection gonna be like? What's the inspiration? And then the last look, the closing look, which is usually the most important, is typically a gown or something more extravagant. This is the closing look for Brandon. And this, number 10, is me. This is my look and I'm really excited because this is the exact look I wanted. I was like, where oh, is she? How's it going? I'm good, how are you? Good. I want to be amazing. sick, but I'm good. Well, here but we are, an hour <laughs> before the show. This is the most crucial hour. This is where everyone starts to get a little antsy. Megan is wearing super tall boots, a white coat dress. Yes, it's like Chocolate very... belt, beanie. I try to look at the women around me, the models, the women in, who work in my office, you know what I mean? And like ask questions and I'm not a woman, so you need to ask, like, what, what do you like? Is yes. this too much? What would you want? I asked to come here, my very first collection, and they said no. And, and they four years that. later, they four have years said later. yes. The finale look is going to be taken right off the runway and put on display in the museum for like how many years? A lot of years. years? Like 10 years. These teams work so, so hard, and you want to be surrounded by people who lift you up and make you feel seen. And in this moment, when everyone's exhausted and has been working forever and this is the finish line, they need hype girls, you know? We're lucky to have them. Oh. Oh, that's so sweet. Brandon, you're the best. It is an honor to work with you every time. I'm glad you've been here. Vogue, I have to go now. And I have to get my hair done before Brandon kills yeah. me. Okay, bye. <laughs> Brandon, can you guys His hair makeup is so good.
There's some things that I've learned with my runway walk. So this is the moment where we're about to go out. I take a moment to breathe, close my eyes, and then I open them and I'm focused. First tip, confidence. The entire crowd can feel your energy. It shows in your walk. Now this is the most important part. Cameramen are right there. Second tip, breathe. You look like a mannequin if you don't breathe. Third tip is body language. Got to make sure you pop a little hip, pop a little shoulder, make sure your arms are behind your back, and please make sure that you move your body. All models need to be finished and getting dressed in the next two minutes. Two minutes, everyone. What do you think of my final look? Love it. Woo. Stay with Pray for me. These shoes are high. Outdoes himself. He so. tells a story. He tells a story, darling. 